Hello, it's Elizabeth with Craft Illustrations. Hi, come on in. Here we go. Hello, hello. Come on in, friends. Come join me. Come say hello. Hey. Just pulling up my live. All right, here we go. Hi, Don. How are you? Come in. Come say hello. Okay, so, yeah, it's a double whammy kind of day. So here's the sign we'll be working on. It says, bless this home with love and laughter. It's a tenant's metal sign. I got this from uh, Lady Fox Designs and Supplies. Again, on Facebook. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Joanne. I'm good. How are you? Hello, Annette. Come on in. So that's the sign we'll be adding onto the uh, oval, bo oh, oval. <laughs> oval board, right? Set up for the oval. Come on in, spread that arrow of mine, if you will. Thank you. And we're using ribbon cut at 15 inches, the butterflies and the yellow. Okay. 15, one, two and a half, and one and a half. How are you? Come on in. Thanks for sharing. Here's the mesh. So we're using one roll of mesh. This is cut at 18 inches. Roll with a rotary cutter. Come on in, come on in. And uh, for the uh, attachments, this is what I used. I cut it at 11 inches. And we're probably going to be adding some daisies in there. Again, I got this from Lu uh, Luann from uh, Lady Fox Designs and Supplies on Facebook. You can see the little butterflies and the little uh, daisies on the sign. So pretty, so pretty. I like that. So let's set these aside and uh, we'll get going. All right. So I'll put the camera down so we can get started. So if you have any questions, hello, Sirota. Just go ahead and ask me. Sorry about my washer that's going in the background, but you know, you gotta wash them clothes while I'm crafting, right? Okay. Good afternoon, you all. Welcome. This is my second live of the day, so I'll welcome you all for joining in again. So. Hi, Patty. Hello, hello. So, uh, again, my setup on the oval board. All right. So, we're just going to attach the ribbon and the mess. The mess is cut at 18 inches. My thing over here is just going blurry and in and out. I wonder if you're having the same problem. I wonder if it's my internet. Hmm. Thanks for sprinkling. Hello, hello. All right, so I'm gonna, okay, just I'm gonna move the, this and this. This is gonna scrunch, do the ruffle, okay? So this is a wide stripe fabric mess that I'm using, so it's gonna cover the board really well. That's why I'm only using one roll of mesh for this project. So this is cut at 18 inches again. What I'm gonna be doing is just scrunch, uh, actually no, I'll do a fold over ruffle. Yes, this is called the fold over ruffle or the, as Lori calls it, the kerfuffle. Okay. And I'm just gonna add that on the outside first. Give it a couple of twists. If you have any questions, if I don't see them, I usually go back to watch the replay and look at the comments and questions to make sure there's no trolls on too. Hi Ruth, how are you? So the fold over ruffle. You just fold these over and this gives great coverage on the board and I'm just gonna scrunch. 
right. So again, my my washer is going in the background. So yesterday was laundry day, but again, I was out. I was traveling home yesterday from uh, city of Edmonton, and uh, but now today's the laundry day for me. We're just gonna add the mesh in first, all the way around. Again, I cut this at 18 inches. Move my ribbon here, because it's in the way. I thought this ribbon was a perfect match to the sign that I got from uh, ribbon I got from Luann again. Where's the sign? Here it is. I thought this matched perfectly. So that's what I'm using. As well as the uh, uh, solid yellow. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm all over the place here. There's a lot of bunch of stuff I need to clean up on my tables here. So I'll be doing that. Doing, oops, 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 wrong one. I'll be doing that here after. Hi, Cecile. How are you? Glad you, glad you guys can uh, come say hello. Always a pleasure to have you all join me. Otherwise, I'd be talking to myself here, which is what I usually do anyway when I'm down here, <laughs> thinking out loud. <clears throat> in there so again the mess is cut at 18 inches which is what I use what everyone else usually does when they want to use um, just one roll of mesh <clears throat> I, I just love this uh, mesh. It's called white stripe, white stripe mesh, fabric mesh, I believe it's called. So the fabric mesh is always a good, a good one to use when you want the good co the coverage that you need for these projects. I think so pretty so pretty I like these past the pastel colors um, are usually I like using pastel colors for spring as well so it goes my washer <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me <laughs> my my washer is is a little loud. I was gonna come on at two, but when I was like, why not? I wanna go on right now. So I can do all the stuff I need to do. Catch up all my chores after. So. Okay, look at that. That's so pretty, I like it. <clears throat> it's making weird noises. So again, this is called the pulled over ruffle. Okay, that's the last one on the uh, outside two holes. So we're alternating the mesh, we're doing every other. So that's the look. You guys seen this okay or my off camera? I'm sorry, I sort of worked in the middle here. Look at that. So we're going inside on in these now. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do here. Let's see if we need I need to do the this is 
This is huge, by the way. What a ruffle would look like up in there. Because I believe that's what I did with my Happy Easter Wreath kit that I got from uh, Unique in the Creek. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do a ruffle. That's what I, I think I, that's what I did. So again, I cut my, uh, mesh at 18 and my ribbon at 15. Yeah, that's going to look good. All right. So we're doing the ruffle. This is 18 inches. Every other. Move these out of the way. That look good. So I keep doing adding the ruffles in there. <clears throat> There's a lot of spring and uh, spring projects uh, I want to get done. The only time I get to do this is weekends, too, too tired and during the evening. During the week. Oh, I skipped one. <laughs> so there's 20 pieces of the 18 inch cut mesh. The one now. So how is everybody? How is everyone? I gotta refresh this first here so I can see your comments. Um, you talk to yourself too, Ruth? <laughs> I talk to myself all the time too. Butterfly, uh, butter, butterfly, no, the, the bee wreath turned out cute when I was, when I did that this morning. I was like, it worked. Um, I'm, I meant to, I meant to, um, put a little bow around its, uh, you know, it's, it's neck or whatever. Yeah, it's neck. But I, I, I forgot to do that on the live. But I'm just gonna leave it like that. So. <clears throat> so it it is a little. It's spraying here and there, but it's all right. You know, the part that you can't cut is the fabric part with your rotary cutter. That's uh, that's why I didn't uh, heat seal it because uh, there's fabric going through it, and um, that's the part that you can't cut. You you might, but it's gonna take a while to cut. <clears throat> It's not gonna it's to prevent the uh, prevent the fraying, not to uh, less fraying, not to prevent it. It'll fray if you uh, um, would burn it, anyways. Okay, almost done with the mesh here.
I would have added the ribbon in together with the mesh here, but you know, I'll do this. Finish it anyways. Making new things. New things. Ooh. What kind of new things, Joanne? If you don't mind my asking, is it a surprise for us? <clears throat> okay, the mess is in there. Snip, snip. Okay. This looks, it looks so full. Look at that. It's a big one. Okay, let's add the ribbon in there. We're going um every... On the every, on every, on the every, <laughs> what am I saying? On every twist tie with these. <clears throat> Hi, hello again. I hope you guys can see this okay. But you do, this is a big wreath. I need more um, table space. I'm just gonna scrunch like that and add them into the zip tie. It's a surprise, okay. <laughs> So pretty. <clears throat> baby's make baby's making a lot of noise upstairs. Probably playing with her toys. Quiet now, my washer's done. Next one? Did I skip one? Oh, I saw some pictures. I saw some pictures um, of uh, snowing in Edmonton. Glad it, I'm so happy I came home yesterday when it had been scary to travel in that snow. just finished in the can I'm group I didn't I didn't miss that one <laughs> I was I, I watched her while I was preparing this down here so watching her live was, was pretty oh that's so nice making new things hi 
Yes, I hope it's going to be pretty. I guess I was standing around trying to look for mesh that matched the sign, right? And I came across this one and I just grabbed it. I think I got this last year from the coexchange.com. I was just waiting for the perfect sign to use it on. It doesn't really match, but it's it's almost the same. So thought about using uh, poly, just regular jute mesh. But I've been using a lot of jute mesh lately. I wanted to go green with this. Did I attach that in the wrong place? What did I do? Yes, I did. <laughs> I attached this on the wrong place. I knew it looked funny. So I, I'm going to attach it down here. Haha. -ha. So. so we did a for those of you that are just joining a little later, um, I went and uh, cut the best at 18 inches and uh, went um, every other on the first and second row with the twist ties and the, the, the mesh. So I did a fold over ruffle or a kerfuffle. And now we're adding the ribbon. These are cut at 15 inches. I keep repeating every time I go live. Some some of you might be probably thinking why I repeat and repeat all the stuff, but <clears throat> when I go back to watch the replays, I notice um people are asking me um, how much, how far, uh, how big the uh, and uh, cut everything, and and I miss those questions. That's why I always repeat the lengths of my supplies that I'm using are. So don't be bored with me repeating. <laughs> okay, so there it is. Isn't that nice? I think I keep going off camera. What I wonder if I should lift it up a little bit. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here in the, uh, on the inside, so I'm going to go in and put one each on every tie. Because what I find is when I do these ovals, when I put two of the ribbon in together, I always, I think it's too busy and uh, the, the tenant shine is going to cover up most of the holes, most of them anyway, so. So I cut um, 15 each of the ribbon. Fifteen each. Okay. Work the wires in the ribbon and your ribbon will stand up right like a curve. Some of my, uh, notice some of my um, butterflies are going uh, up and some of them are going down. Um, but I mixed up, I mixed up um, all the, uh, this ribbon. Because I didn't want them all to go the same way. <laughs> so I put them all upside down and when I, yeah. Uh, some of them go like this, some of them like this, and, you know. Pretty. Yeah, so pretty, so pretty. I'm liking it. 
Yes. Yeah, the colors are so bright and uh, tearful, aren't they? I would have gone all blue or all, or black base maybe or, you know, jute. But I love colorful things in spring. And this is like an everyday wreath as well, so... still see the mess. I'm not covering it up fully. One more, here we go. Okay. So there's our mist and our ribbon. And once we attach that, that's gonna sit right on top like that. Then it's gonna, oh, that looks so pretty. So matchy matchy. So let's make a bow, put that off to the side and grab this, my bow maker. So to break some of that that's in there, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of black in there. Like this black, black with polka dots, and I don't know. I was thinking maybe this one. Maybe it's too much work. I don't know. Hmm. Now let's add this one. Just this one. call it um satin ribbon I hope it'll hold up so Ian's tail I got this all backwards <laughs> Fingers backwards. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So Aiden's tail. Actually, no. Wrong, wrong way. Wrong way. Um, I've been trying to make different, different um, bows. Different looking bows here. Seven inch loop.
two and a half inch and they are in there now. So what am I doing here now? I'm going to 12 inches. No, I'm going the other way now. Slightly smaller, which will be, let's do six inches. Be patient with me. I've only done a few of these bows. Two for day? Yes, two for day. Two for. It's kind of fun to do live, two lives on Sundays. Kind of a lazy day for me. Slightly smaller, about half an inch. Probably seen somebody make one of these bows. That's what I'm trying to make here. <laughs> somebody. Creaky door. Mm, so, okay, we'll add one more, one more ribbon in there. Um, hmm, what kind of ribbon should I add? I don't have any green here. Let's add this one. Where did I get this? Unique in the creek. No, that'll be too matchy matchy. Let's have this one. Make my ribbon. Uh, use use my ribbon here. So on the other side. So eight in its tail. smaller loops. These are now five inches. I hope my ribbon will stay together here. I think my bow maker is broken down in the holes there. One more. Let's add, what shall we add? Some more of the butterfly. Might as well use it up. Maybe one loop. Turn it. I'm trying to make, make a bow here that's not the same old, same old. So one loop only for this one.
Okay. So I'm just gonna tighten these up. Are you guys still with me? Good, thanks. Thanks for still hanging in there with me. I tried this uh, this style bow on my East Happy Easter wreath kit I got from uniqueinacreek.com. I, I was left with a, a little bit of ribbon and I tried this kind of bow and I liked it. Um, so I thought maybe it would look good with this wreath, with this black and white, trying to break it, break off some of that green, blue, and yellow in there. That's why I'm using black and white. So, as you can see. So it's, uh, Different style bow, but I, I I like it. It's, it looks it reminds me like of a spider bow or something. Maybe I can move this up a little bit here. Not this one. This one. It's different, but I'm going to cut the tails down anyway, so it's different. It looks good. There. Let's add the bow and the sign. Okay, I'll grab some pipe cleaners here. Two of them. Thanks, Michelle. Something different. Adding a little touch of black to break off some of those colors. They won't be, they won't be too crossed in together. Okay. I'll catch the sign. I'll put the bow on. Find the top. This is the top, so it's right in the middle. The middle would be the one, uh, this one. Yeah. If it goes through, I hope it will. There's that twist tie. Okay, um, Smushing my ribbon, but I'll fix them up. So, so I'm just gonna twist my pipe cleaner all around the other one there. Probably can't see this, I'm sorry. But all I'm doing is going in through one hole and um now I'm twisting this pipe cleaner around the pipe cleaner on the on the sign. A few times. Okay. So I'll fix the ribbon again. I'm smushing it. back up with my pipe cleaner and twist it around on itself. Center. Okay. So I'll add the bow at the bottom. Right in the middle or on the side. Do, 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 do. Hmm. What do y'all think? At the 
bottom or the side? Probably the side, eh? Mm. Thank you. I'll just add it on the side. Right close to the, right up in here. Here we go. Uh, all right, I'm just going to trim off the tails here so we can see the sign. Pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty. Right. So these are all cut. Yeah. The tails down here, I'll just mm, cut them a little bit. So you can still see the laughter. Yep. All right. So that's how that looks so far. Isn't that pretty? The bow and the corset. That's where I attached it. The sign and the bow. So now I'm going to add um, some of these pretty daisies that I got from Luann. Um, I'm just gonna add in a few, not too many. Glue them on. My glue gun is on. Yes, it's on. So let's move some of my ribbon and I'll attach those. Okay, just a few. Just a few, maybe around the sign. That's why I didn't cut, cut off the uh, these twist ties here, so I can glue glue them on there. Where's my thingy? Probably need around five or something. It's five. Let's do five first, and then we'll see what it looks like. So I am going to need my needle nose for this. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. So I'm just going to bend this. No, I just bent that. And I'm just going to put it in here, make a, like a looper with this. And then I'm gonna hook it in there when I glue it so it won't come off. Like so. Shake, shake, shake. Is that cute? Oh, I like that. Maybe cut it down a little bit more. So I'm just gonna probably go probably every one. So pretty. Hmm, I wonder if I should go in every 
or every other. If because see if I put it down down here, they won't sew because the ribbon is, you know, filling up the. Uh, I'll just go every one. I think. Thinking out loud, talking to myself. <laughs> How does that grab you? So pretty, aren't they? See, I like these things just because you can put, push them up. Yeah, that's pretty. I'll just put them in every twist tie on the inside because on the outside you can't see them anyways. So. Okay. Did I bend that? Yep. I like, I like. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna bend this like so. And hook this in there. So I think I'll need one, two, three more. So I'll cut off three more. more and then we'll call this one done. I wanna bother taking that off here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make hooks here first before so it can be faster. again. And hook them. This way. Are you guys watching me? Oh, there's viewers. Yes. Thought I was alone. <laughs> So, so we have a few in the bow. I think we should put some in the bow. Oops, wrong one. Okay. 
Another one. All we got to do is put on the hang zip tie. Okay. It's good to go. Cool. That's pretty. I can always put Push this uh, twist tie down a little bit so the. But I, I like how they're just, you know, standing up like that. Okay, I'll lift you guys up. Hey! <laughs> so there it is. Isn't that pretty? So wreath number two for the day it says, bless this home with love and laughter. It's an everyday, I'll probably go in and add some, and I'm not sure, but I like how they just, it just frames the sign. That's what I was after. So I, if I were to put some in there, that wouldn't show, I don't think so. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's cute. Something different. I don't usually come on and do florals, but I thought I'd do start doing florals and daisies and all that. Thank you. So, uh, recap. 18-inch cut fab white, fab white stripe fabric mesh. Uh, not stripe. White, wide stripe. Yeah, fabric mesh and then 15 inch cut ribbon, 15 of them, 20 of the mesh, 20 pieces of the mesh, and I use the twist ties. Yeah, so pretty, I like that. So springy. Okay. Nice. All right, so that's all I got today. Um, this will be my last live of the day. <laughs> Um, if I have time during the week, I'll probably, oh, I don't know. I don't usually have time. Uh, I got the daisies from Lady Fox Designs and Supplies, as well as, as the sign, the rib, the ribbon, the butterfly ribbon, the blue one. That's from, uh, Lady Fox Designs and Supplies as well. Uh, the black and white, I don't know where I got those from. Got them a long time ago. Um, so, but the uh, butterfly one I got from um, Lady Fox Designs and Supplies. She's on Facebook. Um, you can message her through there if you want any of the sign or the daisies or the butterfly ribbon. She has all kinds of great supplies. You guys, um, thank you all for joining. You guys um, have a great day. Day. have a good evening uh, have a blessed week yes have a blessed week to you all and uh, you guys I'll see you again next weekend if not if I don't come on during the week I'll probably I'll I will come on next weekend so you guys stay safe and uh, thank you for joining bye